Okay, welcome back. So in our last video, we built and deployed this Strappy Gatsby blog for free on Cloudflare right here. Use Cloudflare Pages, which is a, which is a very useful service. Um, but I mentioned that there are some issues I still had with the way that we deployed this. And to illustrate that, I want to try and add some content to our blog. So this is our uh, blog running on the development server for Gatsby. And here we have our Strappy CMS also running on a development server. And here are the posts. So let's try and add some new information. How about a new author? Okay, so let's go over here to our list of uh, author entries and let's add a new entry. Okay, I've got a friend, his name is Buddy. And he's a great author. I want to give him a chance to write some blog articles for our blog here. And for his avatar image, well, I've got an image here. Okay, so here's Buddy. Uh, and I think he'll do a great job writing new articles for us. But how do I add his image here as an avatar? Because what you see we did before is we copied and pasted uh, links, URL links to images that are hosted elsewhere on the internet. And we did that for Paul and for Megan. But Buddy's image is not hosted anywhere. It's a file on my computer. So I guess what I could do is I could go to like Dropbox, um, create an account there, upload Buddy's image, and then grab the URL that goes to that image, then paste it here into this text field, and then it would work. But that's a lot of roundabout steps. Shouldn't there be a better way to do this in Strapi? And yeah, there is. If we go to our uh, content type builder and we have our authors here, we can edit this schema by adding another field. And if we look over here, there's a media field for files like images. So in fact, there's here a single media option that says best for avatar, profile, picture, or cover. Well, that sounds exactly like what we want. So let's do that. I'm going to name it avatar underscore IMG. And let's just finish there. And we save it. It'll restart the server, which is Fine. So now when we go back to our content manager, we're back in authors, I'll create a new entry. It'll be for Buddy. And look at this. We've got a little field here. We can drag and drop images and add them directly to this entry. So let me do that. Let me upload this asset to the library first. Now it's uploaded inside um, Strapi's sort of media management system. And now I can select it and, and add it here as the avatar for Buddy. So this is, this is really great. We should probably have been using this all along. Let me save this. And now I've got that saved. So let's see if we can query this using graphical through, uh, through Gatsby. Uh, let me restart the Gatsby server real quick. Okay, that's been rebuilt. Let's see if we can find this in our graphical system here. So we go to our Explorer and we wanna get all of the authors and we're gonna go into the nodes uh, here. Where are the nodes? Here we are, the nodes. So we'll just look for the names first and we only have two of the names. What's going on here? Uh, let me take a look at Buddy. Oh, see, this was a draft. I didn't publish Buddy. Okay, my problem. That was that was my issue there. Let's try again. Uh, let me restart. Okay, now that I've published that and restarted Gatsby, let's run this query again. And now we can see we do get Buddy showing up. Great. Okay, so we can add other information like the avatar. This is what we were using before. You can see uh, Megan and Paul have their URL here, but uh, Buddy, we didn't use this text field. Instead, we used the avatar image. So we go here and we can actually grab the URL from this as well as a lot of other information. Let's run this query. And you can see that now we do get a URL for the Buddy's image that we just uploaded through Strapi. However, notice this URL here doesn't appear to be complete. This is not really pointing to some resource on the internet somewhere. So what's going on here? So if we look at our backend here, we're going to see there's a public folder with uploads and inside this uploads folder, we have Buddy's image. So that's actually where the image is being stored locally on our computer. So if we reference this URL inside of our code, it's not really going to work because it's going to try and reference a file on our computer. If we host this on the internet, other people are not going to be able to see it because they're gonna have no access to files on our local computer. So this is a problem. We can 
use this system in Strapi to upload media, but we need to store that media somewhere else. So how do we do this? Well, the solution is going to be using a plugin that allows us to connect to a file hosting service in Strapi. So to clean things up, I'm just going to remove this image here, and then I'm going to go inside the media library. Oh, well, okay, let me save this. Then I'll go into our media library where we see some images here. I'm just going to delete them. So these are the buddy images, so I clean that up. Um, and uh, that should do it. So now we go shopping in the marketplace for a new plugin. If you go into the providers here, you're going to find there's a bunch of storage solutions that have plugins for Strapi. Uh, you've got AWS over here, you can store files with them. Um, you also have uh, Aliyun, you've got uh, uh, Cloudflare, Cloud Image, Cloudinary, all these different um, options. Some of them do other services. What we're going to use is Cloudinary. So this is a image uh, media file hosting solution that we're going to be using. So let's uh, click on more here. And this page here is going to give you all the instructions you need to install and configure this plugin correctly. And it's actually not that hard. So let's go through it together. Uh, the very first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to install the plugin here. So let's copy that. Uh, let's go to our Strapi backend and let's stop the server. And then let's install the plugin. Perfect. Okay, that's been installed. The next thing we're going to do is we need to uh, edit our plugins.js configuration. So let's copy this text here and let's find this. So this is here we are config in the back end plugins.js. Okay, now notice here this file is pretty much empty, right? So we want to add all this in. We can just delete this and then we'll paste in all of this code right there and save that. So now we've edited our plugins.js. Uh, and uh, we can also do our security middleware configuration while we're here. So this is going to be in our middlewares.js right here. And we see that there's this security uh, item inside of the array. So what we want to do is we want to copy this object. And then where we have this security um, entry here, we're going to delete it and replace it with this object we just copied. And we'll save that. Okay, so we've done all the configuration and we've already done the installation. However, if you look over here at the plugins.js, you have these environment variables that we need to grab. So we need the cloudinary name, key, and secret. So where do we get these variables? Well, you get them from cloudinary. So now let's go create an account at cloudinary and log in. Okay, so here is the Cloudinary site and you can sign up for free and then log in. Okay, so once you've signed in, you'll come to the main screen here for your Cloudinary console and you'll want to go to your dashboard on the side here. And inside the dashboard, you'll find all of your information you need, your cloud name, your API key and secret. So we're going to then copy and paste this information into our env file over here so that it can be grabbed and used by the plugins.js. So let's add in our Cloudinary information and let's go back to plugins here and see exactly what it's called. So we want the Cloudinary name and that's going to be this first entry here. And then next we want our Cloudinary key and that's going to be this key, the API key there. And then finally, we want the Cloudinary secret. So we will add that in and that is here, right here, the API secret. Don't worry, I'll regenerate everything after this video. But there we go. It's all in our ENV file so our plugins can grab it and it should work. Uh, let's try and restart Strapi server and see what we get. Let me close this. Oh, I'll, I'll keep that up. So here we go. Let's restart our Strapi server in the back end. Perfect, okay. Uh, let's go to the back end here. And I don't think we need this anymore. Everything there is done. So let's go to our 
content manager and we'll go back to buddy here okay so now let's try and add a new image uh, for buddy okay let's grab this image here drag that in we're gonna upload it okay we'll select that and save it okay so there we go we've got buddy's image um, loaded up and let's try and now query this using graphical again. So let's take a look at this. We we'll need to restart uh, Gatsby and rebuild that. Okay, so let's refresh here and rerun this query. Okay, it's working. So now Buddy's avatar image, the URL is now pointing to the Cloudinary domain, and we can even see a preview of the image here, but this means the URL works and it is linked to a file that's hosted on the internet. So now we can actually grab this URL and use it as the source image for the images inside of our blog. So what I wanna do now is I wanna go and I wanna uh, add the images for Paul and Megan as well. So let's go back here, let's go to Megan, and we're going to actually add an image here, we're going to use this URL and we're going to go to add more assets from URL, paste in that URL, we'll upload it, there it is, we'll select it and there's Megan, the image is actually there, let's save it, do the same thing for Paul, copy the link here, we'll add more assets from URL, upload that and there's Paul. So now these image assets are being hosted on our Cloudinary account, so we can control it. Previously, it was linking to somebody else's uh, hosted in instance of these images. If that person took down the images, we would lose all the images in our blog because we didn't control them ourselves. We weren't hosting them ourselves. Now we are. If we go back to Cloudinary, we can actually go and take a look at them. I believe it is in the Nexus. And this is going to show all the images in our account. And there it is, right? So we have some previous uh, preloaded images, but here are the ones that we uploaded, the profile images for our avatars. So we are successfully connecting and uploading images to uh, Cloudinary directly through Strapi because we had that plugin, which makes it so easy to use. Let's, let's actually try and use these images now. So what we want to do is we want to go into and close this, let's go into index.js inside of our front end here. So previously, we were querying for the avatar here, this text field, and then we were using it uh, here, right, as the source uh, file for the avatar image. So we're doing no.author.avatar, and this was a URL. Now we're actually gonna use our own URL. So in order to do that, we can sort of copy what we have here. We see it's instead of avatar, it's avatar image, and then there's a URL inside of that. So let's use that just like that. And so now instead of querying here, we're going to do uh, avatar underscore img dot URL. Okay, so now this should be actually grabbing the Cloudinary URL. Let's, uh, let's rebuild everything with Gatsby and... Okay, rebuild. Okay, so now we have all of these uh, uh, avatars here and if we right click on one of these and we open in a new tab, we can see that this image is being hosted here on Cloudinary, so we're no longer grabbing the local host version. And so what we could even do is we could go in and go to a post, maybe this one, and we'll change the author. It used to be Paul, let's make the author Buddy. Okay, let's save that. And now let me refresh Gatsby. Okay, rebuilt. Let's go back to this and refresh it, and look at that we see right away that uh, Buddy's avatar image is here as the author for this article. So this is the power of using Cloudinary. We're actually hosting this image in Cloudinary. So it's going to show up and we can now deploy this 
page to the internet and other people will be able to see that we can add images and other files using this kind of hosting service. Uh, so what we will have to do is actually we'll have to go through all the images where we reference them in all the pages and use links now for them uh, and host all those images in Cloudinary and, and use links that go reference the image in Cloudinary. Uh, so the way we'll do that is for the cover images, we will have to go in here into our posts and we'll have to create a new cover uh, image field. So let me do all of that real quick and, and then we'll see what everything looks like. Okay, so I just uh, added all of that media up as the cover images for the posts and I also redid the code here to actually reference these new uh, images that we're hosting ourselves in Cloudinary. So for we have we have three different types of pages in our blog. We have the index homepage, right? We have also these category pages that produce these same kinds of cards. And then we can click on individual posts and bring up that post page. So we have three different types of pages. And for each of them, the images are now being referenced to the ones we're hosting on Cloudinary. And the way I did that was quite simple. I have uh, the index page, the category page, and the post page. And for each one, I just made sure that wherever I was referencing the avatar before, I changed it to avatar image, and then I get the URL property. And the same thing for the cover. So here it was cover, and I made cover image, and then get the URL property. And then when we actually use that as the source um, reference here for our image tags, make sure we're using that avatar image.url, or we're using the uh, cover image.url. So we did that for Strappy post for strappy category and for index and the result is now all of our images on the entire site are referencing images that we are hosting on cloudinary that we can control and so we can add more content and more images anytime we want in fact we could even go in and we could go inside here and we could delete the avatar text field we could delete the uh, cover text field here inside of our post. And now let's rebuild Gatsby. Rebuilt. Let's refresh. And all the images are there. Even though we deleted the original references that we had to those links, the images are all still here. They're all working perfectly fine we control it so this is a much better way to manage your media you're not referencing them from somebody else's site you're doing it you have a plugin that you can access your cloudinary images directly and uh, we refresh this you'll see all the other images here now that we use for the covers right and then you can look at your media library and again you can see all the images here that you are controlling inside of your own file hosting service through this Cloudinary plugin. So I hope this helps you. And in our next video, we're going to continue to make improvements on the way that we have deployed things. I'll see you then.